Hi there! I am Carrie Anderson and I'm going to tell you all about the book I just read. It's called One Crazy Summer. It is by Rita Williams Garcia. The level is, it's a 4.6, so it would be appropriate for fourth grade and up. Um, it's a chapter book. It's about this thick. There's no, I think this has been read so many times, the cover is gone, but um, I'm sure it's a cute cover. Um, anyway, this is a story, well, it's a book. It does have a Coretta Scott King Award attached to it, and I can see why. Um, this is a great little book. It's a story about a girl, she's 11, and her name is Delphine. She's the main character. She travels with her two sisters to uh, California from Brooklyn. That's where she was raised. And she was sent there with her two sisters to meet her their estranged mother. And the whole time their, um, their characters are being developed as they get to know their mother, who's not very welcoming when they first meet her. Um, and the whole time they're visiting, she sends them to a summer camp run by the Black Panther group. So that's a very interesting um, aspect to their, to their summer. So they're spending the summer with her mom, pretty much. And the whole time, Delphine does a whole lot of mothering to these two um, younger sister of hers because their mom really doesn't know how to be a mother and so that's actually a great discussion for your students you can um, there's a lot of family themes there's social family themes there's social issues to discuss there's uh, the role of mother and the different um, titles that a mother can have um, there are um, th this whole perspective of the civil rights movement uh, and this actually happens I forgot to mention it's um, the setting is 1968 and it's during you know right in the thick of the civil civil rights movement um, and so you get a children's perspective and that's one thing that I was really interested in because everything I've learned about oh um, the Black Panther has seemed Black Panthers, it seems like it's mostly from a news point, a news perspective, a viewpoint, and um, this is from a children's perspective, because this summer camp is pretty much to indoctrinate the children as to um, the views of the Black Panther and why they are making such a stand on this issue of civil rights. And so... You really do get to know the characters, and at the same time, there's some historical fiction laced in here. And um, let's see, um, I'm going to share with you some things you can use this book um, and integrate it into your classroom. There's, um, you can do a lot, you can do some compare and contrast with their lives in Brooklyn and with their lives in, uh, or after they, before they met their mother, which was in Brooklyn and then after they met their mother, and maybe how their perspectives have changed. So you can do, um, you know, you can do Venn diagrams, and, you know, compare and contrast. You can do a lot of that. Um, another thing you can do with this, which is my favorite to do with students, is a reader's theater. You could take three sisters and, and do their different voices, because they're actually very entertaining, their relationship between, you know, we've got Delphine, who's pretty much the, the little mother, and there's um, her younger sisters, and they're just a hoot. So you could do a really entertaining re reader's theater. Um, you can always create a KWL chart, you know, ask them what they know about the civil rights movement, what they want to know, and, and find out, um, you know, where, what, where they want to take their, their learning to. Um, let's see. I'm going to read to you one page that really jumped out at me and this ha this is happening oh at the beginning i think it's the first day that they actually come to this summer camp and they have no idea they just walked into it because they were uh their mother 
pretty much told them to stay out of the house all day long, and she didn't want them back until sundown. And so they went to this free breakfast, and uh, and all of a sudden they noticed that um, all these children from the breakfast were heading into this classroom, and and they noticed there were crafts and some fun some fun things to do. So they sat down and didn't know, you know, what this what this was all about. But as they were discovering, um, you know, the teachers and the, the leaders that were involved, this is their perspective. So I'm going to share with you a page out of, uh, out of this book. And this is um, Delphine, and she was describing one of the um, leaders, and they called each other brother and sister. So it's, um, so if you hear sister, it's just because of that's how they address their leaders. So this is Delphine. There was something welcoming about Sister Mukumbu, whom I liked right away. If Sister Mukumbu had met us at the airport, we would have felt welcomed as she stepped forward to claim us. She would have wrapped us in her green, purple, and orange African print dress and begged our forgiveness for having left us. We sat at one of the two long tables. The classroom was unlike any I had ever been in. Instead of pictures of George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, and President Johnson, there was a picture of Huey Newton sitting in a big wicker chair with a rifle at his side. There were other pictures of mostly black men and a few women hung up around the room. I expected to find Dr. Martin Luther King's photograph hanging on the wall, but I was disappointed. Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali were the only faces I could name. I didn't know any of the women, although one woman looked just like Big Ma. Next to her pictures, Next to her picture were the words, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. On the walls were big sheets of lined ruled paper written in teacher's neat handwriting. The first one said, what we want, in green letters. On the other side of the wall, another, ins another one said, what we believe. Anyway, that gives you just a little um, idea of their first day at the summer camp. And uh, I won't tell you the ending of the story, but I do really like how this book um, gives you a perspective on what was really happening in that era, especially from a children's point of view. Also, um, this is this is just a great book. It drew me in. Um, I was just going to read it because, of course, it was um, assigned, you know, because of the assignment. But once it drew me in, um, my house went, I didn't get my dishes done, my house went upside down because everything else stopped. So it really is a captivating book. Um, in fact, my husband and my, my fourth grade daughter are waiting for me to um, hand it over to them so they can read it now because they, they, uh, I keep talking about it. So it's a great book. I would highly recommend it. It's called One Crazy Summer. I guess you can see that part of the book. And uh, anyway, have fun with it.